Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video we're going to discuss the custom trailing stop that we use in most of the expert advisors that we make here. There are two inputs that confuse people, so I want to go through the basic concepts of how it works, and I find that it's a lot easier to describe visually than it is in text, so we're going to go ahead and make this video to make it easier for our customers. The example I want to use here is the idea of buying. So we're going to pretend that blue stands for buying, and we enter here. And we're going to use two inputs. We're going to use the, uh, let's use this for the trail amount, or the trail start. Sorry, I'm trying to write larger. It seems comically large in real person, even though on the screen it seems really small. And then in, we'll do red, we'll do the trail amount is equal to 5. So what I'm saying is that whenever I buy, whenever I am 20 pips in profit, move the stop to break even. And when I am in profit and I've moved the stop to break even, every additional 5 pips, I will advance the stop 5 pips. The key concept here is that we're not going to move the stop loss at all until you've reached a minimum amount of profit. In this case, it's trail start, which is 20 pips. So absolutely nothing is happening until you reach this minimum threshold. When you reach 20 pips in profit, so we bought here, and let's say that this distance right here, just to make sure it shows up on screen for you, this is a distance of 20 pips. Now when this goes up here, the stop loss that originally started out here will actually adjust right here. That means that whereas you may have been down like negative 50 to start with, I'm just picking a random distance, now you're at exactly zero. Assuming that you ignore slippage, you're neither making nor losing money if the stop loss is hit. Now, a trailing stop only activates whenever the price moves in your favor, so we started at 20. Now, what happens if the price moves another 5 pips? Let's go up here. So we were up plus 20 here, and now we're up plus 25. Well, this is where trail amount kicks in. You'll notice the difference between this and this is equal to 5 pips. Well, 5 pips in this example will require us to adjust the trail amount by 5 pips. So we go from 0, and now we're up plus 5. Now when the price moves again in our favor, so we'll be at plus 30, then the trailing stop will now move to another 5 pips to plus 10, and so on. And you'll notice that the distance between each of these values is always the same number. It's always 20, and that's because that's the distance that you've maintained. So this one is the distance at which you're going to trigger the stop to move to break even, and it's the distance that it'll maintain from the most favorable price in increments of 5. If you're using an increment of trail amount equals 1, then when this hits 20, it moves to break even. When this moves to 21, this moves to plus 1. When this moves to 22, this moves to plus 2, and so on. Now, if you have any questions on this, please contact me. You can find me at www.onestepremove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.